Welcome to in 5 minutes. The agenda of this clip is to identify the value of VOL or a resistive load in water. In the previous clip, we have seen the value of VOH equal to VDD for a resistive load in water by identifying that the transistor NMOS operates in cutoff region and equating the value of current through the NMOS to the value of the current through the load resistance RL. In that clip, we also saw that for VOL, my transistor NMOS operates in linear region. So now let's equate the value of my current in the linear region with the value of my current flowing across the resistor. Let's quickly do that. VOL is nothing but output low. That means my input is going to be high equal to VD. And with that, we start ID in linear is equal to IR means the current flowing across the resistor. Let's write the equation of the current in the linear region. It's there on the left hand side of the screen. Kn by 2 twice Vgs minus Vt into Vds minus Vds square. This is equal to current flowing to the resistor which is nothing but Vdd minus V out upon RL. Now if you look properly you will know that Vgs is nothing but equal to V in which is nothing but equal to VDD. See, V in, VGS, and here we have seen that input is nothing but VDD. We also know that VDS is equal to V out. And because we are trying to find out VOL, we know that V out is nothing but equal to VOL because output is what we are finding. So let's quickly do this substitution. This is nothing but Kn by 2 twice VGS nothing but VDD minus threshold vd is nothing but v out which is nothing but vol minus vol square equal to vdd minus vol upon rl now if we simplify this equation one step further we get a quadratic equation which is as follows therefore vol square minus twice yes vdd minus vt plus 1 by Kn RL this entire thing is into VOL plus twice VDD by Kn RL equal to 0. This is nothing but a quadratic equation which will get us two roots out of which only one will give a correct value logically between 0 to VDD. We know that for a quadratic equation AX square plus BX plus C the roots are nothing but minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a. We know here in this case a is equal to 1, c is equal to twice vdd by knrl, it's a constant, and b is nothing but minus twice vdd minus vt plus 1 by knrl. Let's simplify this equation using the quadratic expression. So we just saw that a is equal to 1, c is equal to twice vdd upon knrl and b is nothing but twice vdd minus vt plus 1 by knrl and we know that we have nothing but the roots as minus b plus or minus in this case minus will give us the correct value square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So when you do the substitution, the value of VOL which we get is nothing but VOL equal to VDD minus VT plus 1 by KNRL. Remember this entire term is into 2 but it's getting divided by 2a where a is equal to 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 so 2 gets cancelled out. So this is my first term of the equation minus now we go inside the square root b square which is nothing but vdd minus vt plus 1 by knrl the whole square again the same phenomena 2 is present here but then when 2a goes under the square root it will be squared and the cancelling will happen with 2 minus twice vdd by knrl so this is the term which we get when we substitute the value of VOL in the quadratic equation. 
So now all the terms would be given to you and the problem is nothing but a straightforward problem to solve. Hope you have followed it and stay tuned for the further clips on VIL and VIH. Thank you.